Wednesday, and I'm getting to put the taste on today to start at the new year because tomorrow it looks like there was no chance I would make it into Providence. This snow forecast seems to be changing every hour, and it does not look like it's going to be much of a fun day tomorrow. So uh, hopefully some of my guests, the education I'm getting today, I'll be able to take into tomorrow. Happy New Year, everyone. I'm Rick Simone. Thank you for coming and joining us on The Taste today. I've got three great guests, and it seems like every January, no matter what the year is, there's always this kick or this trend or this topic about being healthy. So I wanted to do today's segment on eating healthy to talk about the things that we can do throughout the year, not just the things that we decide to do in the month of January. So my three guests are going to kind of give us that element of each area that we can cover to talk about ways to make this happen throughout the year, changing our habits, changing our thoughts, changing what we do on a regular basis to think about what we want to do to be healthy. The, today I've got John joining me. John is a lifestyle coach, someone I've known for a long time. I'm excited to have him join me. He's going to probably give us a very well-rounded overview of the things that he does for the people that he works with and the tips and trends that he hears about and also the sciences of things that he studies. I've also got Shannon joining me from Wicked Fresh, a great spot. I've gotten a lot of feedback from people online and on the comments coming to me on social media about them. So I'm excited to have her come in and talk to her. And I also have Catherine joining me from Sydney. Now Sydney is a great spot here in Providence. It's been going for a little while. A lot of you were giving me feedback about their menu and it's ever changing. We're gonna to talk to Catherine about that. Her and I were speaking about it in the beginning uh, when she first got here. So we've got some feedback we'll get from her on that as well. But all of them are great guests. All of them have this knowledge and I'm happy that we can start to share this because we need to be eating healthy in 2018. And yes, this show, I'm gonna put this out there now because I don't wanna get teased at the end. I am not having a drink on this show. No, I am not abstaining. No, it is not anything other than the simple fact that I forgot to bring a bottle of wine. No, I'm kidding. It's just because talking about eating healthy, I felt like I wouldn't have a glass of wine today. That being said, let me bring John Tarazzo. Hey, Rick. Hey, oh, he comes in. I thought he was going to bring me a glass of wine. No, I'm almost. Like, no, 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 I'm only kidding. Yeah. Thank you for joining me. I'm really Thank glad you so to have much. you here today. My pleasure to be here. John and I have known each other for a very long time. We have some great mutual friends that we associate with, and one who was actually kind of my referral, Jim Verity, who has been on the show before with his event concepts and his event design. Big shout out to, John, uh, to Jim and yeah, to thank really him for the referral. Yes, sir. So with Jim and the lifestyle coach is that he knows all about your background, he knows about your history, but you're actually helping Jim's sister. That's true. Uh, I actually took uh, Becky on for uh, uh, a little coaching and uh, right now she just reached one of her goals and she broke through her goal. She lost some body fat and uh, with that comes a lot of self-esteem and some changes in clothes and what she you know, feels and thinks about herself. Right. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's self-evident. You know, so what I do is helpful. Let me ask you this. So let's start it out this way because we've got some time and I want to make sure we cover a lot of things that you have. What does it mean to be a lifestyle coach? Tell us what that means that you're doing. Well, sometimes, sometimes people uh, like to have direction or have information that they can help to you know, capture their goals or get their, their needs met or to get something done that they have a challenge with to do by themselves. So that's really what I help people do. I help people overcome challenges that they face in their life, whether it be, you know, whether personal goals or relationship goals or food or nutrition goals or health goals. Right. And I kind of coach them with that uh, goal-orientated mission to get them where they want to go. And that's interesting because lifestyle encompasses a lot of things. I mean, that, it's, yeah, it's, it certainly it's, does. It's a, it's a big amount there. And I just had someone just message me now saying that my favorite yoga instructor, Sherry Carrera, just sent me a message saying to say hi. Oh, and yeah, she yeah. Said, said, my favorite yoga instructor. So I guess you've done yoga oh, as yeah. well. Yeah, I, I cover a cu couple of different things. Yeah. See? So, so John's got a lot there. But being that that's what it is and lifestyle, a big part of being everyone's lifestyle is being healthy and the things that you can do to stay healthy. So what I really want to try to have you help us understand is what can people do if this is their goal and they don't want to just do it in January, they want to make it last throughout the course of the year. What are some of the things that we need to do to start that out? What are some of the tips that you recommend that if, if someone's really serious about this and they want to begin eating healthy, what are some of the things that they should consider? Well, a lot of the things that I like to talk about is everything we put in our mouth makes a difference. And I'm talking about nutrition and the food that we choose that we eat every day. And nutrition, there's a very powerful tenant called proper food combining. Food combining is when you have a food that's digested more easily with certain parts of other foods as opposed to not being digested easily. And I can give you an example. Meat and potatoes is definitely not a, a match 
when you're trying to optimize your digestive system. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of energy loss. And if you'll notice, quite frankly, when you see lunch or dinner commercials on TV, they're all about what? Digestion issues, right. bloating, gas, constipation. It's, you know, common. And when you start to think about that, you'll say, oh my gosh, yeah, John mentioned that on the show. There's definitely a connection between when we eat and what happens with what we eat. So an example of that would be meat and potatoes. A steak and mashed potatoes doesn't combine optimally. And what happens is one gets digested by a protein for an acid, the other one gets digested by an alkaline, and they implode. They yeah. yeah, they clash. And then what happens in the digestive system is it, it actually, it's not a pretty word, but it calls putrefaction, and it kind of rots in your system. And that's where that gas, that bloating, that um, uncomfortableness get you get from those improperly food combined and choices. it's crazy to think about that because like you say they're combined there's so many places that you go and not even just restaurants but your own home meat and potatoes everybody thinks goes together yeah it's a classic and, yeah. and it's rethinking you know and this was uh, done back in the 30s and the 20s when people were starting to look at how food affected people's health and some smart people decided to do some biochemistry say so I don't want to get too you know scientific but basically your body's like a biochemistry kit what you add to it changes right. the way it digests and you got to be conscious of that so a good meal choice would be well I'll give you a choice today I had chicken and cabbage and carrots okay. that's protein and veggies okay. that's a really safe zone to be in whenever you want to take control of your proper food combining you're gonna mix a protein with a vegetable and you can choose any vegetable you like and any protein you like, so it really gives you some variety in to mix it up. So there is a lot of things that you can eat, a lot of things that are considered healthy that are out there that can be there. And it's not, you know, from my understanding, and you absolutely correct me if I'm wrong here, is that all the things that I've researched, and you and I had this conversation about body mass index, BMI, yeah. and, I, and I definitely want to talk about that. Yeah. You know, and it's one of the things that I've had said to me is that over the years, mine has changed because of my habits and the different things that I do. And, you know, I've tried to take different steps, but there are foods that you can eat that are normal, everyday, enjoyable foods that are still going to be helpful. That's true. Okay. Yep. And I would again say, you know, lean protein would be great. It, it can come from the sea. It can come from the ground. But I often say the best rule of thumb is to read, if it runs on the ground, swims in the sea, or grows in the ground, you should eat it. Okay. And uh, again, one of the things to not do is processed food. You know, these are really common sense approaches to being able to take advantage of wisdom. No processed foods, stay away from sugar in any sort, whether it be uh, processed sugar or sugar alternatives, they're, and especially when they're synthetic. That really is another story for another time, but just basically stay away from that. If you wanna really accelerate the weight loss, fat loss program, you can definitely, definitely stay away from processed foods, sugar, bread, rice, pasta, which pasta is a processed food, by the way, let's be real. Yeah. It doesn't come out of the ground like that, yeah, I, got, I, got a tough, I got a problem with the pasta. But it's there. delicious. It yeah, tastes it great, but it can really change or alter the way our bodies, so, you know, look. I make feel. sure I put vegetables in my pasta. Is that well, good? that's okay. properly combined. Good, okay. good, good point, Rick. If you're okay. going to eat rice, if you're going to eat potatoes, if you're going to eat bread, you can eat them, but limit that with just vegetables. Okay. Don't mix the protein with it because that's going to, again, heed the, the digestive process and you're going to want to keep an eye on that so it optimizes your ability to digest food and then use the nutrients to be able to have energy you know be alive be more vibrant so let's go back to bmi body yeah, mass yeah, index yeah that's a great tell us a little bit what that is what that means to people well i'm glad you brought that up because there's a shift right now going on in the entire world of body mass indexing and it's shifting to body composition and body mass let's say you and i were the same uh, uh weight and the same height okay. let's say 200 pounds you're a football player, I'm a couch potato. We both have the same BMI, but obviously, Rick, you're a lean, clean, you know, football machine, and I'm a, a, an overweight and a poorly healthed person who's sitting on the, the, the couch eating the wrong things. But we have the same BMI, so now it's shifting to body composition index. And body composition okay. index is about percentages of body fat, lean tissue, and bone density. And by the way, those three factors are anti-aging. So what do we want to have a BMI with high or low body fat? I would think that you want a low, yeah. We want a low body fat BMI. Fail, fail in front of that's right, right. <laughs> that's, that's getting younger. We want a lower or high bone density. Well, 
Higher bone density, right? Good job. Yeah. All right. He's, and then the last trifecta is what do we want for lean tissue? Do we want lean tissue to be up or down? Lean tissue to be up. That's right. Okay. So we don't want our heart to lose weight or our muscles to lose weight because that really indicates poor health. And when you optimize your ability to use the BMI versus the BCI, you'll really have a better concept. And really, this is where it gets important on the scale. And when I work with my clients, I say, listen, you can't really use the scale because let's say, Rick, you want to lose body fat yep. and you would lose 10 pounds of body fat, but you gain lean tissue of like five pounds. So overall, you had a net change of 15 pounds in the right direction. Okay. Oftentimes, people get on these fad diets, trendy diets, where they're really just um, they're sacrificing lean tissue or organ weight or bone density through those f foolish diets. Really, they're foolish. So it's and the then mass. You it's yeah. the mass that you're, that you're you, it's okay to gain some of the back, but you with the mass over there. Right. It's okay. the lean tissue and the bone density you're getting, which are very powerful. And again, it's anti-aging. And uh, all my clients, when they start this program with proper food combining, they'll say, John, you know what? I didn't change my scale weight so much. But man, my clothes fit different. Right. I feel like um, I'm stronger, I'm healthier, I'm leaner. The fat on my body isn't so obvious, and th it, there's a transformation. So and that's that BCI, body composition change. Body composition. So it's right. really, it's really important for people to understand this because I think that this you mentioned, you know, fad diets and trends and such that are out there. And it, this time of year, it seems like a lot of people will start. You know, this time of year, and then by February, March, they've given up already yeah. because they're not seeing the results or getting where they want to go. Right. You know, and, and really what I wanted to cover was these tips and thoughts that you had, but I want to make sure that, you know, the next two guests I have, they're going to talk about foods, some of which you mentioned, that you can eat all the time and things that you're comfortable with. And that's why I go back to the chicken and even call it the cheat a little bit about talking about having pasta but with vegetables, is that I think that there are things, and, you know, and I've started this practice and made a commitment to myself for this year, I think that there are enough opportunities out there to talk to people like yourself to do the research on these new trends and things that are there um, you know the beast uh, BC or bi body composition index, body composition BCI index. So right versus I, BMI I think that that's important to understand because I wouldn't have thought before what you just said I would have thought okay if I kept the same weight but my body's changing is something else wrong with me right you know what I mean yeah and, and there's an indication there that uh, over the years with these trendy diets and and low carb no carb high carb low carb really what's happened is there's been an acceleration in obesity in our country and weight management issues because those aren't working. Right. There's, uh, there's an epidemic happening with many of the, these trendy, you know, get thin quick schemes. And when, we, you know, when they promise you in 30 seconds you're going to get all the, you know, the, the bells and whistles, that's just not going to be the truth. So let me ask you this. Is it possible to change your lifestyle through a coach like yourself to what you're eating and how you're eating it and not have to worry about having this massive exercise program? Well, you know, Rick, that's a good point too. All the exercise in the world will not give you or get you where you want to go if you're not eating the right food. Let's be real. Okay. You cannot eat Twinkies, Ringdings, Yodels, <laughs> and, you know, copious amounts of, of wine or whatever. If you, you know, if you're doing that, you're not going to have the same results as if you Nutrify your body, and that brings me to my next point, which is uh, supplements are very important. I'm not the only one that says that. You know, okay. the American uh, Society for Medicine often tells uh, Americans that the diet is inadequate today. You know, the peach of 1930 is not the same value in nutrition that we have today. And if you doubt me, you know, go to the market and pick up a tomato, and then go to your garden and pick up a tomato, and they're two different animals. Yeah, you can right. definitely see the difference. That's I don't right. have to get into the details, but obviously the garden tomato is fully nutrient rich, and the, the market tomato, unless it's organic or, or maybe a, even farm raised. there's a lot of clones or a lot of Holy like, Toledo. Processing, yeah, yeah. you know, we've gone into an industrialized nation, and that includes our food tables. So a lot of it is taken from farm not to table anymore. It's from, you know, somewhere in Hawaii we get our vegetables, or California, or, and, and in between that they're processed and they're full of chemicals, or they're sprayed. And, you know, this isn't something that's new, but bringing that to our awareness in this new concept of right. taking better care of our health, uh, supplements can really bridge that gap between nutritional, uh, you know, disparities in our food. So you just said awareness, and that's where I want to kind of lead this as we get to, towards the end of our talk here, is that Give us, before we, and I want to go over how people can reach out to you, and I'll, I'll put this information out there as well, because I think having, being coached, having someone like yourself, 
is a source of encouragement, is a, is a, a source of feeling okay about being discouraged or what something's wrong or asking questions. And I yeah, think support it, makes all the it difference. It does. It makes, it makes a dramatic difference. I 100% agree. But what are some tips? Give us maybe three, four tips that you think right now. If someone was to think about this and they wanted to start, what are three or four tips of things that they should avoid or try to start out to do? Well, first of all, the mind is very powerful. To make that commitment with your mind and say, I'm doing this. You know, it, as a woman or a man think it, so is she. This isn't some sort of a joke. In fact, you know, I study philosophy and many people who are um, experiencing transformation have decided first to make their minds committed to that change. Second of all, you know, it's definitely easier when you have someone connected to you as a coach. That gives you the opportunity to, you know, to, to fall back a little bit and then have that person lift you back up again. It really helps you to keep you on track. And then when you go out to eat or when you're out and about, you can still maintain the proper food combining concept is if you pay attention to what you're doing. So if you go to a restaurant perhaps, you know, maybe avoid the sauce on the, on the meat or uh, tell the server that you're going to need you know, all vegetables with your protein. And they'll take care of that. It's not a big deal. And right. if you're going to have a salad with that, you know, skip the dressing. You don't know if there's sugar in it or what's in that. And you know, use lemon and olive oil, a dash of that. It goes a long way. And then really what you're going to give yourself is the gift of health, not just now, but for a lifetime. And that's why I call it a lifestyle. This isn't some passing fancy. You know, the bigger picture for my clients is what do they want in the future? Right. Because now is everything. When you want that future experience, you've got to start now. So do you want to see your kids have kids, or do you want to be vibrant, alive, healthy, play right. whatever with them? That's the key here, and so, I really enforce that. No, it's a lot to clients. consider, and I can see where that encouragement's necessary. You, you just talked about dining and going out. So that in and of itself is a lifestyle for a lot of people. Some of it's negative, where it's too much fast food or too much quick food. You know, Wicked Fresh, we're bringing in today, is talking about how they do healthy food best. Awesome. You know, that's a great conversation I want to have with them. but. You just mentioned you can still go out, and this is what I, I kind of want to keep coming back to with this whole conversation today is that there, it's be, having someone like Kiss as a lifestyle is from the encouragement side and the education side. It doesn't mean that your whole life is going to fall off the side and you're never going to be able to do any of the things that you've been doing. That's you know? right. So going, if you enjoy going out to eat, the, I, I see people in restaurants all the time that are ordering specific things. That's right. So I, I think that that's, that in and of itself sh should be some encouragement for you. It's not that difficult, like you said. You can go out to the restaurant and people will accommodate you, especially if you're going to be uh, looking to change and they're going to be willing to help you out. So, John, we, we covered a lot. Is there anything, I know you had a lot of great stuff you want to cover. Is there anything that we missed before I um, do? I want to make sure that we just... No, uh, if, uh, if anybody should have any questions or any comments to share, um, I'm available. You probably have my contact information. Absolutely. You and we're going to put... Check me out on my, on my online website. Yeah, we're going to list that out there that when, we, when I do the write-up after this because I do want people to feel like that they can get more information and stuff out there. I tried to cover as much as we possibly could. I, I can tell you from the people that work with John and from my you know personal relationship with him and our mutual friends is that... He's serious. He's got a lot of great background, a lot of great education, and I think you shared a lot of that today. So thanks, Rick. Thank you very much. Awesome. It's great I appreciate you having me. Thank you. A pleasure Happy to be here. Happy New Year, my friend. I'll see you again soon. Okay. Have a great right. day. Take care.